Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, today I'm going to be talking about grace, as we already heard. So, I am here by grace right now. Because if it wasn't for God's grace, everyone here, they've committed sins. And it wasn't for God's grace, we would, they would still be on us. But because of God's grace, I'm here today, and I could testify of this, that he is here and he could save us from that. So, what is grace? How do we get it? Who gives it? How, like, what is it? Well, God's grace is him giving up his son for us. Uh, we, can't, we can't get it through our own works. It is only gained by God because of his mercy. It is the, like, the main message of the gospel that God... The work he did for us, he gave his son, and he is graceful for us to forgive our sins. And it's how he shows his love for us. And grace, like a little acronym for it is like, it's gained righteousness at Christ's expense. We get the righteousness from God at, because Christ died for our sins. And it is God's will to give, uh, to give us grace, to forgive us for our sins. And it's how he shows salvation for us, how he saved us. And because of it, we, come be, we become blameless in his eyes because he forgives us. But we have to receive it with faith and acknowledge that Christ died for us. So I just want to open up to Luke 23:39 It's an example of Christ forgiving someone of God showing his grace to people when Jesus was on the cross with the two criminals. In verse 39 it says one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said. Since you are under the same sentence, we are punished just, justly. For we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when, I come in, when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, your day will come. Today you will be with me in paradise. So, this is an example of God's grace of Jesus. He, on the cross, with the criminals that were with him, it says in verse 41, We are punished justly. They were getting punished for the crime that they committed. There's Obviously, they're not just going to be able to walk away freely. But God, he for, Jesus, he forgave them for that. And if it wasn't for him, we would be like the dead men because we'd be condemned to death because our sin wouldn't be able to be forgiven without the grace of God. Because nothing we could do deserves our salvation. But so the sin causes the death because... That's what God cannot accept into his kingdom. But the cure to that sin is grace. Because only God's grace can forgive us. And in Ephesians 2, 4. It says... But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved, and God raised up with Christ, was, and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming age he may show that incomparable riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. 
and it is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, grace, it is everything God did for us through Christ. He gave his only son for us, so that we can be accepted into his kingdom. And the only way we could receive grace that God gives is through faith. We have to accept that Christ Jesus died for us on the cross. And God did it for us. He gave his only son. But we have our own part in this too. So we have to accept it with faith. And it says, For it is grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not from yourselves, it is a gift of God. So this grace, it's like a gift that's given by God. And when you buy someone a gift, a gift you get joy from it too. You see them happy, you bring them joy. And this gift, it's like a present we get from God. But we have to open it with faith. We have to believe that he gave it to us and we accept it. And God watches, watches us open it and he is joyful. And the gift is forgiveness. But it was purchased by the blood of Christ. Christ died for us to be able to get this gift of salvation from him. In verse 9, not by works so that no one can boast, for we are God's handiwork created in Jesus Christ to do work which God prepared in advance for us to do. So it's saying that it's not by works, we, it's not the things we do that gets us this salvation. Instead, it's the grace that saved, the, we are saved by grace, not by our own works. And Saved means we are brought to life. So we are brought to life by grace. A little example of this is like if, you, if someone commits murder, the judge doesn't just let them go. There's a penalty for that. The penalty is death most of the time. You can't just be like to the judge how about I do good for the rest of my life? How about I only help people out and all that kind of stuff? So the judge isn't going to be, okay, I accept that you're going to be good for the rest of your life. You're free to go. There's no penalty for you. No, it's going to be, you can't just run away from your own guilt, your own sin that you committed, the crime. There's a penalty no matter what. And we have all broken God's law too. His laws, we've all sinned, we've all stolen, or people stolen stuff, people have committed murder. It's all against God's law. And the penalty for that is death. Because in the Old Testament, the only way to get forgiven is sin is to bring a sacrifice. But the New Testament, Jesus brought himself as a sacrifice for us so that we don't have to die instead. So the Lord loved us so much that he sent Jesus instead for us. He died instead. And in verse 10, for we are, for we, or nine, not by works so no one can boast, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us. So, we cannot boast ourselves about this because we did nothing to deserve it. It's not on us. We didn't get salvation by our own works. But Jesus, he did it for us. We can boast in Jesus how great he is, how worthy he is because he died for us. Instead of you being killed on the cross, he was. And he made the sin that's unforgivable to God, he made it 
he changed it and it became forgivable by him. And we don't deserve it. We didn't get anything from it other than salvation from him. We didn't earn it. No way. God, it's his mercy that gave it to us. Nothing else brought it. And all in all, I want to turn to John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This is the ultimate example of God's grace. He loved us. He preferred to save us, his creation, the world. He gave his son for us. So that if we believe, if we have faith in it, we will not perish but have everlasting life in heaven. Amen.